Many of you are worried about what documents to carry in the NEST 2025 examination on 22nd June. So here I am today with the admit card in my hands and I'm going to tell you what all documents you can carry with you in the exam center and how you can keep your calm and ace the NEST examination. So here I have the admit card uh, which says NEST entrance screening test, application number, roll number, name of the candidate, address, date, time, shift, all these things about the exam itself. Now if you turn to the next page, what you have here is uh, the exam time is 9 to 12.30, your test center and venue are printed above, okay. And if you uh, see the third point, right, please be seated in the hall at least 30 minutes before the start of the examination. It means that you need to report at your center at least or around 60 minutes before the start of your examination so that you can comfortably get checked uh, your documents and enter the exam center and you know properly get settled there right so it's very very important to do this because point 0.5 says that no candidate will be permitted to enter the hall after 9 30 a.m okay even that the exam starts at 9 a.m. Okay, it's not just the loss of your uh, time, but if you reach late, although you might be allowed after 9 a.m., but it's the loss of your examination time and uh, you're going to face problems in solving the questions in the limited time frame that you have left. Okay, um, another point, no candidate will be permitted to leave the exam center, exam hall before 11 a.m. So you need to sit for at least two hours. And the funny thing is that most of the people, when I was appearing in NEST 2019, uh, I qualified that exam. And uh, when I was appearing in that exam in the hall, uh, exam hall itself, uh, in that time, 9 to 12 p.m., I saw most of the students sleeping after half an hour or one hour and they were not allowed to go out. So they just uh, slept or dozed off to pass time. And because of course, questions sometimes get uh, trickier and uh, hard to solve, right? And it's not everyone's cup of tea, but don't worry, you got it. I believe in you, we all believe in you. You're going to ace this exam. Now, very important thing, what document to carry to the exam center? In addition to the admit card, you need to either bring your admit card of class 12th board examination or any other photo ID card with you. Photo ID card means is an identity card with your photo, recent photo on it. Very common examples are Aadhaar card, okay, or driving license, okay, or bank passbook or passport. Uh, but we don't carry usually those things. So Aadhaar is what you can carry if you have a deal. Uh, made already so then you can do that but definitely carry at least one photo ID card with you and if possible take a Xerox of it with you as well in case any such requirement arises in the last moment okay other than that it's not written here to carry a passport size photo with you in the exam center but you should do it because we have seen that in all the examinations they usually ask for a passport size photo in the exam center itself. Since it's not written over here, it's not mandatory probably. So they might not ask you, but what's the harm in carrying a photo or two with you in the exam center, right? So do that. Again, uh, gadgets, calculators, mobile phones, laptops are not allowed. Okay, so do not carry them in the exam center with you. At least if you're going to the center while having those gadgets, submit them properly, okay? And uh, malpractice, of course, uh, will lead to disqualification. No need to say that. So all these things are uh, done. So this time next is going to happen in one shift only. Reporting time is mentioned 7.30 a.m., right? So by 8 a.m., at any cost, you try to reach the exam center and get seated in the exam hall by 8.30 a.m. latest, right? So that you can get comfortable and uh, drink water and uh, refresh yourself and start the exam, okay? Um, so these are the things, guys, but uh, definitely want to wish you all the best for NEST 2025 examination. Don't worry, okay, you're doing great. If you're solving mock tests, uh, you're not getting enough marks, don't worry about that. 
just keep practicing, keep revising because you don't know that uh, what concept, what uh, question that you have practiced here is going to be useful in the exam itself. So I hope uh, that this video has been useful so far. But guys, don't worry if you're not able to solve questions in the PYQs or the mock test. Just keep practicing, keep revising because we all know that you have got it. And uh, we want to wish you all the very, very best for NEST 2025 examination. And all the resources that you have got is definitely going to be useful in solving the questions there. Just maintain calm, take a deep breath while solving questions and just recall on the concept that you have got, that your mentors have taught you, discussions have happened on, right? And all sorts of things, right? And uh, ace the next examination. All the best, everyone. Mm -hmm.